welcome back for another video but first let's start this video off with a prayer and today's prayer is dear god i've been letting the wrong people have access to me for way too long i recognize that as your child i should stay away from all the wickedness and evil please show me those who shouldn't be allowed in my life i always catch myself trying to help and and water everyone around me even if it hurts me in the process but my garden needs water too i need help too I humbly refuse to tolerate anything less than what you show me that I deserve. I am human and I have feelings too. So today I ask that you please let me who and what I give access to. Protect me from all hidden agendas and people or things that are sent to hurt and use me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. So I pray that, that prayer blesses you guys today. Today is Thursday and I am... Getting ready. I have a nail appointment soon in the next hour -ish, hour and a half. Luckily, it's close to my house. Um, but first, I need to tidy up my house before I leave. So I'm actually getting ready to do that now. And whatever else I got going on today, I will share with you guys. How are you guys doing? If you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. y'all i would love to know down in the comments do you guys have any upcoming projects that you're going to do in your own home it could be a renovation it could be a refresh little things that you're changing in your house some deep cleaning you're doing now that the weather is getting warmer at least here in georgia i know many places it's still snowing and raining and cold but in the south it's actually getting warmer and i i'm loving it y'all i noticed that once the sun comes out like that vitamin D and just having the sun shining makes a huge difference in your mood. I know so many people suffer from uh, seasonal depression and I feel like it's a real thing because when it's gloomy and cold, it's just so unmotivating. But now that things are changing, I feel motivated to do different things, to having different projects. I feel like changing things up and having projects and doing different stuff kind of gives me purpose. I'm excited about it. So in this video, I pretty much get things to get basically the stuff that i need for the patio which i'm so excited about that's going to be in the next video so you guys do not miss that make sure your notification bell will be turned on so you don't miss that video So change of plans, my nail tech just canceled on me because um, her kids are sick. So I completely understand that because I've been dealing with sick kids pretty much most of the week. I'm a mom, so I get it. So change of plans. So I guess we're going to still get out the house today. <laughs> I'm thinking about going to TJ Maxx and wherever else I end up being, but let's get out of the house. 
Hey y'all, so I am at Ollie's and because it's right next to TJ Maxx. Y'all, look at this. Life is what you bake it. Oh, it's a woman of color at the front. It's only $5. I love coming here for cookbooks and stuff because their cookbooks are such a great deal. But let me look into this book. I think I'm going to get it. All right, y'all. I know this is my favorite um, laundry booster. How much is it here? I just got some from Sam's Club that was on sale for 14 something on sale. And this is $13.99 here. So it's still a good deal here. It, I think it was, I paid $14.98 for this big size and they're pretty big um pretty good de deal here so that's a good deal one thing that drives me kind of crazy it's a really loud music i feel like i can't hear myself think y'all they have better homes and garden here and this set is only 4.99 that is so cool all right so i came here to look for some hand towels i did not find the ones i'm looking for i'm just looking at this decorative accent mat and it's only $6.99 by Clorox. I didn't know Clorox came out with these. It has blue accent. You know, like blue colors. It's antimicrobial protection of the mat. Mold resistant, slip resistant. Okay, now I see you. I wish they had a tan color or something. But that's actually pretty cool. I didn't even know they came out with that. All right, y'all. So I'm at TJ Maxx. I need to get some more dryer balls. But look at these. I've never seen these before. <laughs> They're cute and everything, but I'd rather have them plain. I don't see any others. Here's these. These are scented. Scented with what does it say? Lavender. I like that. And then four for $7.99. And these are just the regular ones with no scent. $7.99. So I might as well get the scented ones. So let me get that. Y'all know I love coming in this, this section because all the house stuff is over here. This is so cool. This is a cleaning brush. Let me see what it does. Um, it has it does angled cleaning. Oh, I see. And then you see that part right there. Oh, okay. But do I need it? I do not. I better stop. <laughs> Put this back. So I see kitchen cabinet cream removes dirt and grease. I'm sure it's for. That's pretty cool. They have everything here. <laughs> I just come and be fascinated by all the stuff. They have a cooktop cleaner, but I already have that. Not that one specifically, but I already got some. Oh, y'all, look at this. Let me put it right here so we can look at it better. They have the pink stuff kit with the brush. You know that Rubbermaid brush that I have that clean? It's kind of like that, but it comes with a lot of tips and stuff and two things of pink stuff for $30. That's actually really good. I don't need it though. So let's put it back. <laughs> Look at me with all this self-control. Who am I? They got washing machine cleaner. I've used that before. It's very good. Um, and they also have the Lemmy Shine one too. Very good. $5.99. Yeah, make sure you keep your washing machine clean, y'all. Every two weeks is when I do it. Guys, this is so cute apron let me see if you guys can see it $12.99 I think it might come home with me it's perfect for summer and it's by Martha Stewart oh yes yes ma'am yes ma'am it's mine yo I think these saucers I saw someone else in a TikTok find them I didn't know how big they were but these are not big at all look at my hand so they're pretty small oh these are so cute these are melamine I think that's what they're called and they're only six dollars and I, these are the size space that I eat from. Yeah, they're coming home.
it's been a minute since I've been to Kirkland's. I'm so excited. I wonder what they have new here. So let's go. This is so pretty. It smells so good in here, you guys. It's like walking to Hobby Lobby. It just smells so good. That's a pretty breeze. and I'm looking at their protein section so Quest has a lot of them they have cookies $16.69 for a big pack eight cookies the one they sell at Walmart it comes with four and it's like eight something so around it's about the same um, it has 15 grams of protein they have cheese crackers all oh, this is so fascinating to me like pink like candy and stuff they also have the poutine chips. I really like that one, so I know that I know that I like that flavor. What else do they have? Little cookies. Oh, I love it. They also have this brand called Lenny's and Larry's. They have protein in them as well. I feel like you basically eat this one if you have like a little craving or something like that. All right, y'all. So I had to make a quick stop at Dollar General. I had to get some trash bags for my office, and these are my favorite smells so good oh my god that smells good they all smell good that cherry blossom oh yeah they all smell good that fresh clean that's is it bad that i get excited about this stuff <laughs> and they got some more at the top they got gain gain with a lemon scent on it the lavender oh my god okay so i had that one they had the bigger box right here so I don't have to keep coming back. Okay, so I'll get the big old box of Fresh Clean. Let's do that. And then I like to get the small ones for the bathroom. Hey friends, I am home, but just for a quick second because I just wanted to put these flowers in a vase. I got these from Target. Aren't they so pretty? Oh, they're so pretty. They have flowers for um, Easter, so I picked these out. Y'all, I gotta have fresh flowers in my house. I don't care if they die, I just have to have them. Hey guys, so we are, John and I are running errands now. He ain't supposed to be home. <laughs> I come home, he's there. So we're now running errands before the kids come home from school. Or at least I get to hang out with him and share my Chipotle. So while I was out, I got some Chipotle and I had two bites. You can't even tell, I even touched the bowl. But I shared it with him and John don't even eat that much either. I said, we still got food. Hello everyone. I just want to show you a little bit today's Thursday and show a little bit from my outside from the street. My outside flower you see they growing up. This is from the outside, one side of the world. Outside. See you can see. I'm going to show you the other side. I got two sides. See my other side. I have some flower today. I feel lucky. See. You can see inside. I have some flower. See.
I am very lucky. See? This is from my outside. This only thing I can show for right now. And later we can see. Let's see. Plant. This is the inside. I show you from outside and this is inside the house. See, I have some everything is on the still on the construction. We are prepared for painting. Painting the wall. I still looking for the color. Yeah, I need to find, figure out what color I'm going to put outside the house. And you can see from outside, the other side of the wall, like I got some. This is a heavy scoose. This is like type of orange. I got red one and I got orange. This is beautiful. Yes. I had to. You can see. You can see my flowers. In this side of the wall, I have some lemongrass. I have some oregano. In this side, I have a little cabbage. See? And cucumber. I have some cucumber, okra. Planting is still, they, they start showing up. See? I have some cilantro, tomatoes. It's, it's, they start uh, come out, you see? You can see, they start come out. I have some cucumber, squash, and so other things, so many other things. Other, many seeds, they start showing up little by little. Yeah, and this is the other side of the house from the patio. This is on a coconut tree. I have two coconut tree. See, everything is still looking messy. But that's it. That's the only thing I have going on today. See? I have some chai. Chai. See, this is a cilantro and chai right there. And that's it. This house is kind of, it's a little big. For me, it's I kind of small, but the inside outside is really big. So many things, yeah. But that's it for now. Thank you. I hope everybody have a good Friday tomorrow. And happy Easter to everyone. Hey, guys. It's now the next day. So last night, John and I uh, went to Marshall's. And then we took the kids out to eat for dinner last night. Well, we took them to CeCe's. We gave them different options and they picked CeCe's pizza. But when we went there, y'all, they had two birthday parties. The place is not even big. So they had two birthday parties. Kids were running around. So my kids loved it. I was in there like, mm. <laughs> but as long as they love it out, you know, that's cool. But now it's the next day. Today is Friday and well, John and I are actually going to Walmart later to get some florals and stuff. I'm going to see first what kind of flowers they have in there first. If not, if the ones are Lowe's are better, then I'll go with Lowe's or Home Depot. I don't hardly go to Home Depot like that, I noticed. That's crazy. I'm going to have to check that out. But it won't be in this video. It's going to be in the next one that I'm going to be starting today because I can't put both of them together. That'll be too much, um, especially when I already post three times a week. John and the boys are actually right now, they just left. They're going to go get a grill for the backyard. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait for a grill, y'all. John deserves it. Um, we're going to be eating good. <laughs> well, as much as I can. Um, he took the boys with him. They're having their guy time. And, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. I wanted to do the... Fetch Leadership Board shout out. I haven't done it in a while. Most of the times because I don't remember. <laughs> but I still use Fetch every single time. All of the receipts that I um, use, I always scan them. Always. And I also make sure to scan my Instant Cart. They just recently added Instant Cart on there, which I'm excited about because I'm always still having groceries delivered. Instant Cart and then um, 
Amazon, all that stuff. Walmart, when I do Walmart delivery, it scans it and I get my points as well. They have changed so much on the app. I love the app, but they have changed so much on it. Um, I don't play the games that they have on there. That is not my favorite feature, to be honest with you. I'm still trying to get my points for a home goods gift card. I feel like now it takes me forever to get a gift card. Before I used to get gift cards like this. Now it's taking me years, it seems. For me to get a gift card so and i scan all of my receipts so but i like doing this fetch leader leadership board shout out because you guys are on there if you already have fetch you can still add me on there all you have to do is search up where it says socials and friends um simply you send it and it will add you on there and it'll act, actually add you to the leadership board i'm not high up on the list i am number 221 because there's so many of you and the same ones are at the top <laughs> it seems but i like i still like using the app because of the fact that still, it doesn't cost me anything to just scan my receipts to gain points towards a gift card and it could be any gift card i just want my either tj maxx marshalls or home goods maybe even target as well so i'm not gonna be complaining so let's do the fetch leadership board shout out number one is ted bedecki number two is d marie three is michael white four is petra scarfo Five is Patricia Picoraro. Uh, I hope I said that right. Uh, six is Mary Lou Filak. Seven is Nina Sky. Eight is Marilyn Gray. Nine is Deborah Fitch. Number 10 is Miss Taz. 11 is Angie Freeman. 12 is Shalonda Murray. 13 is Vicki Ockert. 14 is An Anilesh Nair. 15 is Glenna Lindsay. 16 is Kathleen Petkin. 17 is Shannon Weaver. 18 is Eureka Thierry. 19 is Miss J. And number 20 is Kimberly Jones. Those are the top 20 spots on the Fetch Leadership Board shout out. So don't feel bad. You're not all the way up there because neither am I. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. And keep a lookout for my next videos, you guys. I will see you guys again today, technically, because I'm filming today. But you guys will see me on Friday. So bye, y'all.